the atrocities committed by the Nazis during World War II, particularly the Holocaust, are indeed horrific and constitute some of the darkest chapters in human history. Here are some key points you may want to consider for your video. The Holocaust. The Holocaust, meaning sacrifice by fire in Greek, was the systematic, state-sponsored genocide orchestrated by Adolf Hitler's Nazi regime and its collaborators during World War II. It unfolded from 1941 to 1945 and resulted in the mass extermination of six million Jews, as well as millions of other innocent civilians deemed racially, ethnically, or politically undesirable. Background The roots of the Holocaust can be traced back to the virulent anti-Semitic ideology promoted by the Nazis who believed in the superiority of the Aryan race and scapegoated Jews for societal problems. Methods of genocide. The Nazis employed various methods to carry out the genocide, including mass shootings, forced labor, starvation, and, most infamously, the use of extermination camps equipped with gas chambers, Auschwitz, Sobibor, Treblinka, and others became synonymous with unimaginable human suffering and death victims. While six million Jews were the primary targets, the Holocaust also claimed the lives of millions of other individuals, including Romani people, Poles, Soviet Poles, disabled individuals, and others persecuted for their political religious or ethnic backgrounds, dehumanization and persecution. Jews were subjected to dehumanizing policies, including the Nuremberg Laws, which stripped them of citizenship and basic rights, propaganda, discriminatory laws, and violence aimed at isolating and marginalizing Jewish communities paved the way for more extreme measures, resistance, and rescuers. Despite the overwhelming odds, there were instances of resistance within ghettos and concentration camps. Additionally, individuals and groups known as the righteous among the nations risked their lives to save Jews, providing a glimmer of hope amid the darkness. The Holocaust remains a poignant reminder of the consequences of unchecked hatred, discrimination, and prejudice, urging humanity to confront its past and work towards preventing such atrocities in the future. Concentration camps. Concentration camps were a central component of the Nazi regime's systematic persecution and extermination of targeted groups. During World War II, these camps played a pivotal role in implementing the regime's genocidal policies, subjecting millions of people to forced labor, dehumanizing conditions, and often death, purpose, and establishment. The first concentration camp, Dachau, was established in 1933, primarily for political prisoners as the Nazi regime expanded its persecution, the purpose of concentration camps evolved to include various groups deemed undesirable, such as Jews, Romani people, homosexuals, and others. Conditions, conditions within concentration camps were deplorable. Prisoners faced overcrowded and unsanitary living quarters insufficient food, and brutal treatment by guards. Forced labor was a common feature, with prisoners often working in grueling conditions for extended hours, medical experiments. Some concentration camps, such as Auschwitz, were notorious for conducting inhumane medical experiments on prisoners. These experiments range from sterilization efforts 
to testing the effects of various substances on human subjects, leading to immense suffering and death selection and dehumanization. Upon arrival at concentration camps, prisoners underwent a selection process where Nazi officials determined their fate. Those considered unfit for forced labor were often immediately sent to gas chambers or subjected to other forms of execution. The dehumanization of prisoners achieved through shaved heads, striped uniforms, and numerical tattoos was a deliberate tactic to strip away individual identity resistance. Despite the overwhelming odds, there were instances of resistance within concentration camps. Prisoners organized clandestine activities, such as education, cultural events, and even armed uprisings, as a means of asserting their humanity and resisting the dehumanizing conditions. Evolution into extermination camps. Some concentration camps, like Auschwitz-Birkenau, evolved into extermination camps where mass murder through gas chambers became the primary method of killing. The distinction between concentration and extermination camps highlights the escalation of the Nazi regime's genocidal policies. The establishment and operation of concentration camps stand as stark reminders of the depths to which totalitarian regimes can sink in their pursuit of ideological goals. Understanding the grim reality of these camps is crucial to honoring the memory of the victims and preventing such atrocities from occurring in the future. Extermination camps. Extermination camps, also known as death camps, were specifically designed and operated by the Nazis for the mass murder of targeted groups, primarily Jews, as part of their genocidal policies during the Holocaust. These camps were characterized by their efficiency in carrying out systematic and industrialized mass killings, design and operation. Extermination camps were distinct from concentration camps in their primary purpose, mass murder. They were equipped with facilities such as gas chambers, crematoria, and mass graves, Auschwitz-Birkenau, Sobibor, Treblinka, Belze, and Chelno were among the key extermination camps. Gas chambers. The use of gas chambers marked a gruesome innovation in the Nazis' killing methods. Victims were led into sealed chambers under the pretense of delousing or showering, only to be exposed to lethal concentrations of toxic gases, such as Zyklin B. The efficiency of gas chambers allowed for the mass murder of thousands of people in a short period, crematoria, to dispose of the vast number of bodies. Extermination camps had crematoria where the corpses were incinerated. The sheer scale of these operations demonstrated the cold, calculated nature of the genocide victims. The primary target of extermination camps was the Jewish population, but other groups, including Romani people, disabled individuals, and Soviet Poles, also faced mass murder. The Nazis sought to eliminate entire communities based on their perceived racial or ethnic characteristics. Liquidation of evidence as Allied forces advanced and the Nazis realized the inevitable defeat. They attempted to destroy evidence of their crimes. Crematoria were demolished and mass graves were opened to burn and dispose of the remaining bodies, leaving behind a haunting testament to the scale of the atrocities, post-war trials, the existence, and operation of extermination camps played a central role 
in the post-war Nuremberg trials, key figures of the Nazi regime were held accountable for war crimes and crimes against humanity, shedding light on the systematic and calculated nature of the Holocaust, reflecting on the horrors of extermination camps underscores the importance of understanding the depths of human cruelty and the need to prevent such atrocities from occurring in the future. The memory of the victims serves as a solemn reminder of the consequences of unchecked hatred and discrimination, eugenics and racial purity. The Nazis implemented a radical ideology based on eugenics and the pursuit of racial purity, which played a central role in shaping their policies and ultimately led to widespread persecution and genocide during the Holocaust. Aryan supremacy. The Nazis propagated the notion of Aryan racial superiority, considering the so-called Aryan race as the epitome of physical, mental, and cultural excellence. This ideology served as the foundation for their discriminatory policies and fueled their desire to eliminate perceived threats to this racial purity. Nuremberg Laws 1935 The Nuremberg Laws were a set of anti-Semitic laws introduced in 1935 that aim to institutionalize discrimination against Jews. These laws deprived Jews of their German citizenship, prohibited them from marrying or having sexual relations with non-Jews, and restricted various civil rights. Forced sterilization. The Nazis implemented policies advocating forced sterilization of individuals deemed genetically undesirable, particularly those with physical or mental disabilities. This eugenic approach aimed to prevent the reproduction of individuals considered a threat to the Nazis' vision of a racially pure society. T for Euthanasia Program The T for Program, named after the street address of its Berlin headquarters, involved the systematic killing of disabled individuals. This program laid the groundwork for the mass murder techniques later employed in extermination. Camps. The lessons learned from the T for program were applied to the development of the Holocaust. Racial hygiene and pseudoscientific justification. The Nazis utilized pseudoscientific theories to justify their racial policies often distorting or misinterpreting legitimate scientific concepts. Racial hygiene, as promoted by figures like Heinrich Himmler, aimed to purify the Germanic race by eliminating those deemed racially impure. Propagation of hatred. Propaganda played a significant role in disseminating anti-Semitic and racist ideologies. Jews were scapegoated for various societal issues, and a culture of hatred was fostered through media, education, and public discourse. International influence. The Nazis drew inspiration from eugenics movements in other countries, including the United States, where eugenics had gained some traction in the early 20th century. The Nuremberg Laws, in part, mirrored American anti-miscegenation laws, legacy and ethical considerations, the horrors of Nazi eugenics, raised profound ethical questions about the misuse of science and the dangers of dehumanizing ideologies. The Holocaust stands as a stark reminder of the consequences of allowing pseudoscience to drive public policy and the importance of safeguarding human dignity and equality. Understanding the role of eugenics in Nazi ideology is crucial for comprehending the roots of the Holocaust and the moral imperative 
to prevent the resurgence of such ideologies in contemporary society. Nuremberg Laws, the Nuremberg Laws, enacted by the Nazi regime in Germany in 1935, were a series of anti-Semitic and discriminatory statutes that form the legal basis for institutionalized persecution against Jews. These laws marked a significant turning point in the erosion of civil rights for Jews and paved the way for further atrocities during the Holocaust. Background and context. The Nuremberg Laws were announced during the annual Nazi Party Congress held in Nuremberg, hence their name. The laws were part of the Nazis' broader agenda to exclude Jews from German society and establish a racially pure state. Reich Citizenship Law The Reich Citizenship Law declared that only individuals of German or related blood could be Reich citizens. Jews were stripped of their German citizenship relegating them to the status of subjects without full political rights. Law for the protection of German blood and German honor. This law prohibited marriages and extramarital relations between Jews and non-Jews, aiming to prevent the supposed contamination of German blood. Additionally, Jews were forbidden from displaying the national flag or colors impact on daily life. The Nuremberg Laws had far-reaching consequences for the Jewish population. Jews faced increasing social isolation, economic discrimination, and restrictions on their professional and educational opportunities. The laws essentially legalized the marginalization of Jews within German society. Kristallnacht 1938, the Nuremberg Laws set the stage for further anti-Jewish violence, culminating in the infamous Kristallnacht Night of Broken Glass in November 1938. During this pogrom, Jewish homes, businesses, and synagogues were ransacked and destroyed, resulting in widespread violence against the Jewish population. Normalization of anti-Semitism. The Nuremberg Laws institutionalized anti-Semitism within the legal framework of the German state. They were part of a broader strategy to dehumanize and isolate Jews laying the groundwork for more extreme measures, including the establishment of ghettos, concentration camps, and ultimately the Holocaust. International response. While some nations express concern about the Nuremberg Laws and the escalating persecution of Jews, the international response was generally muted. The laws, in hindsight, represented a clear violation of basic human rights, yet the full extent of the atrocities that would follow was not fully understood at the time. Reflecting on the Nuremberg Laws underscores the importance of vigilance against discriminatory legislation and the erosion of civil liberties. It serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of legalizing prejudice and the need for a strong international response to prevent the recurrence of such atrocities. Kristallnacht Night of Broken Glass Kristallnacht, also known as the Night of Broken Glass, was a violent pogrom orchestrated by the Nazis against the Jewish population in Germany and Austria on the night of November 9th to 10th, 1938. This brutal and coordinated attack marked a crucial turning point in the persecution of Jews and foreshadowed the even greater horrors that would unfold during the Holocaust. Trigger, the pretext for Kristallnacht, was the assassination of German diplomat Ernst von Rath by Herschel Grinspan, a young Polish Jew. The Nazis exploited this event 
as an opportunity to unleash a wave of violence against Jews, blaming the entire Jewish population for the actions of one individual, violence and destruction. During Kristallnacht, Nazi paramilitary forces saw and SS and civilians targeted Jewish homes, businesses, synagogues, and institutions. Thousands of Jewish-owned shops and buildings were vandalized, looted, and set on fire. Synagogues were particularly targeted with many destroyed or damaged casualties and arrests. The violence resulted in numerous casualties, with Jewish individuals beaten, injured, and killed. Additionally, tens of thousands of Jewish men were arrested and sent to concentration camps during the aftermath of Kristallnacht repercussions. The destruction of synagogues during Kristallnacht was not only a physical assault on Jewish religious institutions, but also a symbolic act of eradicating Jewish culture and identity. The event marked a public escalation of anti-Semitic policies, transitioning from legal discrimination to open violence. International response. The international community reacted with varying degrees of condemnation, but there was a notable lack of significant action. Many nations were hesitant to intervene directly in Germany's internal affairs and the weak international response may have emboldened the Nazis to pursue more extreme measures in the future. Forced emigration following Kristallnacht, many Jews sought to leave Germany to escape the escalating violence. However, Immigration became increasingly challenging due to restrictive immigration policies in other countries, leaving many Jews trapped and vulnerable to further persecution. Impact on Jewish life, Kristallnacht shattered the illusion that Jews could find safety within Germany. The violence and destruction were a clear indication of the state-sponsored anti-Semitism that would later culminate in the systematic genocide of the Holocaust. Kristallnacht serves as a somber reminder of the dangers of unchecked hatred and prejudice and the international community's duty to respond forcefully to acts of discrimination and violence. The event laid the groundwork for the more systematic persecution and mass murder that followed during the Holocaust.